So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you a Hidden Gems video on FIFA 18 and this time revolving around the best hidden gems at the World Cup of 2018 over in Russia. There's plenty of young talent that's really slipped under the radar both on FIFA and in real life as well. There's going to be plenty of breakthrough stars and today I'm going to be showing you those players that I think will be breakthrough youngsters and I'm going to be showing you what they are like on FIFA 18. 18, potentials and all that sort of stuff so if you're starting a late career mode save you know who to sign and also doubly on top of that you know who to look out for in terms of young talent in real life at the World Cup. Now talking of the World Cup this video once again is sponsored by One Football. so big shout out to those guys if you want to keep up to the World Cup in real life with news, fixtures and results and all that good stuff then check out the link down in the description below and if you go on to enjoy the video then slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel. But the first player in this video is the main man himself. It is Herving Lozano, the Mexican winger from PSV Eindhoven. To be fair, he's not quite a hidden gem, but he's definitely going to be a breakthrough star. The man that everyone's been talking about when it comes to breakthrough guys in this tournament. The man who can play on both sides of the wing, only 21 years of age, 79 overall, and I think about 85 in terms of potential. As I'm recording this, he just scored the winning goal against Germany, so he's already off to a pretty decent start in this tournament and Mexico are my dark horses for this one as well. Very pacey, very good dribbling, high attacking work rate which is always great, good athleticism and also 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Couple that with decent versatility and good potential, he is a very good player to sign on career mode. Another player who's already made an impact on the World Cup so far is the Russian Alexander Golovin from CSKA Moscow, who I'm sure, I'm sure was man of the match in that game against Saudi Arabia where they obviously slapped them silly 5-0. He scored the fourth, which I think was an absolute blinder, but I still haven't seen it yet. Decent ball control, very good dribbling as well on this guy, good passing, free kick accuracy and all that sort of stuff as well. Pretty agile and decently pacey as well for a central midfielder. Can also play as a holding mid and on the left hand side as well, only 21 years of age. A bit of an engine because he's got high attacking and defensive work rate and 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. So many positives for this guy, 79 overall, again 85 potential. Definitely one to look out for at the World Cup. I can see him moving away from Russia, to be honest with you, after this World Cup, and he is very good on FIFA too. Now, the youngest man at the entire tournament is this man here, Daniel Azani. You might not see too much of him at the World Cup. He might come on as a substitute every now and again, but the winger is being talked about massively over in Australia for his good dribbling ability, quick feet, and all of that good stuff. As you can see, his dribbling is his main attribute there, being 71. It's the highest one that I think he has, maybe apart from his pace or something. 66 overall, but very decent potential on FIFA and it's about 82 or 83 as I mentioned is the youngest player at the entire tournament only 18 can play as a winger and an attacking mid high attacking work rate as well which is always great and four star skill moves on such a young player is pretty impressive now someone who's a little bit more known is Pione Sisto of Celta Vigo the Dane obviously who did, had a very good performance if I'm honest with you in Denmark's opener one of their few shining lights to be honest with you in a slightly average performance he's got a great physicals page as this guy good pace stamina agility he's also got really good dribbling and shot power too finishing is not too bad as well for a winger 22 years of age recently not well I say relatively recently actually signed from Midtjylland over in Denmark his native nation uh, for Celta Vigo in Spain but I think he'd still be able to pick him up in the first season of a career mode save on FIFA 18 very decent potential very decent starting overall of 77 four star skill moves and four star weak foot he is definitely one to watch out for for Denmark in my opinion he's probably their second or third best player in the entire side behind Ericsson. Now next up we've got the Nigerian goalkeeper Francis Uzoho who unfortunately didn't keep a clean sheet against Croatia mainly because the men in front of him were so poor but this guy has really got a bright future ahead of him. 68 overall already at just the age of 18 on this game playing for Deportivo La Coruña over in Spain and he is very very good. He's Nigeria's starting goalkeeper already and he is very decent indeed. Very tall, which is very good, so commanding in the air. Six foot five. He's just a very good goalkeeper. He just is a ridiculously good goalkeeper. The only goalkeeper on this list, and if you're looking for cheap alternatives, I think you can pick him up for about two or two and a half million as well. So if you're a bit tight on cash and you're starting a career mode save, I'd definitely look out for him, and he might just get a boost going into FIFA 19 if he plays well at the World Cup too. Now, a bit of an, a very much under the radar one now. This is Albert Goodmanson from Iceland, playing for PSV Eindhoven 
Beethoven. Now, at the moment, I don't think he has the highest of potentials. I think it might be scraping 80, but, you know, if you're doing a Road to Glory, for example, that's a very decent pickup. And this guy is actually very, very cheap. You can pick him up for a one and a half million pounds, and in this specific save where I'm showing him off here, he has a uh, release clause of 1.7, which is ridiculously low for a 67 rated player who can grow that high. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves, decent pace, decent dribbling. Again, another player you might not see too much of at the World Cup, but he might just get some game time and he might just show people how good he is. Now, one person who's already done that is Rodrigo Bentanker as well. Another player who's been touted quite highly, the likes of Golovin and Lozano and this guy as well, performed very well again in an average performance by his side for Uruguay. This guy really had quite a command over the midfield despite only being 20 years of age. He's 75 overall in the game, decent physicals page, but also good ball control, passing attributes, and not too bad defensively as well. Can play as a centre mid. I'm sure you could play him more holding or more advanced if you'd like. He's currently playing for Juventus, who already spotted how good he is, but he's definitely played well and showed off his ability in the first game of the World Cup. So I hope to see more of him if Uruguay qualify from the group stages. Now, I mean, Harry is someone that may not qualify from the group stages, but hopefully we will see a decent amount of him at this World Cup because Morocco obviously lost their first game to Iran. 78 overall is this guy from Schalke, and I mean, he's just ridiculous. They signed him from Nantes, and his potential is insane. Like, it's like 85 or 86, so it probably could be higher if you trained him because he's only 20 years of age. Very versatile as well, can play as a winger, centre mid, and um, on both sides of the wing as well. Very decent pace, agility, dribbling and also good passing attributes as well for this guy as well as four star skill moves which is always great three star weak foot isn't too bad as well and high attacking work rate so hopefully we see more of him at the world cup but even if we don't bear in mind that he's gonna be very very good on FIFA 19. Next up the penultimate player I believe in this video is Dennis Zachariah from Switzerland and this guy is someone that I've been tracing for a while ever since he was playing in Switzerland for young boys. Borussia Mönchengladbach picked him up at the start of this season I believe. He's 77 overall and he is hopefully gonna be providing a bit of an engine and a bit of pace and power if you like in the center of midfield for Switzerland when they play Brazil later or earlier as you're watching this. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going out. 77 overall Though, very decent potential. Again, I think it's 85. Can play as a holding mid or just centrally, and he is a very, very solid player. Like, he is going to do very well at this World Cup. Hopefully, if Switzerland do well as well. So, watch out for him and on future FIFAs as always, as well. And then finally, we've got this man here, Ismail Sar. Again, might be a bit of an outside bet here. The very pacey man from Senegal playing for Stad Rene. He can play on both sides of the wing and as a striker. Only 19 years of age and 73 overall. The only problem with this guy is that Senegal do have some very strong wingers in the form of Balde Di Alcata and obviously Liverpool's Sadio Mane so his game time might be slightly restricted but you could definitely see him late on in games when the opposition are tiring and when Senegal maybe need a little bit more pace so hopefully we do see a little bit of the youngster of the teenager at the tournament and he can show off his ability maybe force a move to a bigger side than Ren. The only problem with him on FIFA is that he's only got one star weak foot which is really not ideal. His skill moves aren't that great either but in terms of a player with decent potential and decent actual overall and ability he is great for that it's just a shame you can't train weak foot or skill moves into a player because otherwise he would be pretty much perfect for his role again his potential is somewhere in the mid 80s so definitely consider picking him up if you've got a spare sort of i don't know five or six million lying around in your career mode save but that is going to round up the world cup hidden gems that you need to watch out for both in the tournament and also on fifa 18 career mode as well and it might be a way of getting ahead of the game going into FIFA 19 as well because I'll tell you what, some of these guys are going to be absolute heroes on that career mode going forward as well. I will as ever be doing my series of sort of like wonder kids to watch out for or confirmed wonder kids or whatever going forward for FIFA 19. That'll be actually after the World Cup just in case there's any more breakthrough players in uh, in that tournament. Any other players that you think will break through at the World Cup in Russia in 2018, drop them down in the comment section. I'd love to hear who you guys think are the outside bets for real performers in this one and who's going to underperform both nations-wise and in terms of individuals too. As always though, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. Subscribe of course if you're new to the channel, it really helps me out. It's that big red button under the video and yeah, just feel free to hit that if you're new around here. Once again, thank you to OneFoot for sponsoring the video and as always if you want to follow me on social media you can do my twitter handle is at the official fng links are down below and my insta is exactly the same but it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye <laughs>
I've been smoking and drinking yeah. Say the weed and the voice got me thinking Skeptical Boy, you better know when I'm under the influence If I say shit, then I meant it all Had a flashback when I used to kick ball And the coach told me I went technical Man, I lost all the air in my lungs And it's like man took a low blow to the testicles Now you see the spare time, I invested all to the music Dug deep, now I'm seeing improvements 